Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another update for the 2020 Vision Project. This project was organized by Hayley from Makeup Tips 102, Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It and Elizabeth from Cookie Pants. Um, Hayley and Elizabeth are both just on Instagram and Paula is on YouTube as well as Instagram. So just to give you a quick intro, this project is uh, a 2020 project. We're using up 20 beauty items, 20 makeup items. We're trying to do that before 2020 starts. Um, I'm getting really close on my beauty items at the moment. I've only got three left and um, maybe even less. And the makeup products are not going as smoothly yet, but... We'll get there. <laughs> at least at least we'll get to a big part of them, I hope. Uh, anyway, let's take a quick look at the beauty products first and then we'll move into the makeup products. So first of all, my solid perfume that I've been working on. Um, I haven't really made it come lower at where the marking is, but I'm getting really, really close on the inside. As you can see, there is not too much left anymore. So I've kind of finished off pretty much more than half of what was left in here. Um, which makes me very, very confident that I can finish this one off by next time. So that one is almost done. Um, one that is not almost done are the uh, clear cell clarifying pads that I have from Image Skincare. Um, I'm getting closer though. I feel like uh, I'm kind of here. Not fully halfway, but we're getting close to halfway. I uh, don't know how well you guys will be able to see in here, but it's, yeah, kind of up till here. So, yeah, kind of excited about that, but at the same time, I still don't feel like I'm going to be able to finish this one off. I'm using this one twice, sometimes three times a week, but I'm cutting them up in four, as I've told you guys before, and um, they will just take forever. That's just the way it is. But then, the Image Skin Care Ageless Total Overnight Retinol Mask is completely done when I... Uh, Push this thing that gets the product out normally. Oh, of course, now there is a little bit of product that comes out still. Um, I've been pushing it a lot and nothing came out anymore. And that was pretty much two days after... Um, two days after I finished my previous update. So that was kind of nice. Yeah, it is completely done. And that means that now I kind of only have these left as my like retinol acid type thing against all the craziness that goes on on my face every now and then um so i'm using them a little bit more not too much because i feel like my face won't be able to handle me trying to use that seven days a week but still anyway let's move on to the makeup items i've got four products that i've worked on over the last month uh first of all we've got the powder polish from sleek in sugar may from the over uh, collection uh, last time I don't think I hit side pen on it yet, but now as you can see I have hit side pen, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, haven't used this a whole lot because there is another lip balm that I'm trying to get done fairly soon. Um, and after that I can probably focus on this one a little bit more again. So yeah, that is that. I haven't made a huge bit of progress, but there is progress, which is always good. And then moving on to a lip product that I have used. I'm wearing it right now in combination with some other things as well. Um, and this is the Catrice lipstick in Lovely Rose. Um, even though I say I have used it there, I haven't used it enough to actually make a new mark, which is a little bit of a shame, but I've, I'm really close on some of the products that are in projects that are almost finished. So I'm just kind of focusing on them a whole lot and not so much on anything else. But I do feel like I can make some more progress on this one soon. And hopefully I can get this one out within like a few months, hopefully. Uh, and then we've got two products left. As you can see, this is getting so small that the pencil is almost invisible at this point. I have been using this pretty much every day. And as you can see in the close-ups, the dark side is so close to being done now. There barely is any dark side showing anymore on the pencil. It's just that little bit of pencil that's in the pencil what yeah you know you you guys know what I mean and then I've made a little bit of progress on the lighter side as well nothing huge but the dark side will be done probably by next time so then I'll only have the light side to focus on and I cannot sharpen that all the way so that is gonna be good I'm pretty excited about that one and I realized I almost forgot a very important one this is the makeup forever eyeshadow in m536 and Last time I had to repress it because, as you might remember, it was falling apart. It was dropping out of the pan. 
I repressed it, it was filling the pan all the way, but right now, as you can see, there is new pan showing already. I feel like I'm really close on this one and I might have this one finished, um, or I will be really close to finishing it by next update, but this will definitely be done within two updates. I'm 99% sure at least. So pretty excited about that one. Um, we are making progress, just not as quickly as uh, maybe we've been hoping, or at least I've been hoping. But that is it already. I don't have too much that I've been working on. There just are some products that I know I will start working on once I've got some of these other lip products out. But I just need to kind of get them done first. And then I can work on all the lip products that are in this project. I'm sure we'll get there at some point. Uh, I know these updates aren't too exciting at the moment. But I promise you they will get better. And like the beauty products I'm doing really well. 18 out of 20 done. So that is pretty exciting. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!